This program will install Red Alert. Sound hardware initialized. Upgrade in progress. Please stand by. For last minute changes and notes, please view the readme file. He who controls the past commands the future. He who commands the future conquers the past. Upgrade complete. Please stand by. Hello guys and welcome to Command & Conquer Remastered for Red Alert. Now we have just finished completing all 81 Tiberian Dawn missions including all the expansion and secret missions and created walkthroughs for all 81 of them. It is time to crack on with the second half of the game here. So Red Alert released originally I think a year after Command & Conquer Tiberian Dawn came out. It uh, was at the time considered a prequel to that uh, first game. Uh, it would eventually go on to hold a rather unique place in gaming in that it was the first installment in two different franchises, so it is a ca uh, canonical intro to both the Tiberian universe and the Red Alert universe. The split happens some point after this first game. Now just as I did when I was playing through Tiberian Dawn, I'm going to follow the chronological mission order list. Now unfortunately, the two campaigns in Red Alert are at odds with each other, but there is a point up to which you can play where the two work hand in hand together, they even reference events in the opposite campaigns. So I consider that the first half roughly of each campaign uh, to be canonical. And then round about Soviet Mission 10, I think it's about Allies Mission 7, uh, they go down different paths as you can see on the uh, map screen most prominently but also there are events happening in one that just cannot happen in the other. I'm going to be playing through this on normal and I'm also going to be imposing the same restrictions as I did before so no cheating strategies or cheap strategies like mass engineer spam and rushing them. Sandbags are no longer the god tier of structure that they once were in Tiberian Dawn. The AI is now intelligent enough to deal with them, so I'm free to use walls should I choose to. I'm going to prohibit myself from altering the game speed, and I'm also going to get through all these missions in just a single take. I think I managed all but one in Tiberian Dawn, and even then it's because I was going for a needlessly risky strategy, and I just wanted to make a save once I pulled it off so I could demonstrate it as a viable option for you. Anyway, without further ado, let's get going. 